It's McGarry. And it's McConnell. Out to Johnson. McConnell, the transfer from Duquesne. Johnson, the MVP of that NIT tip-off tournament. Ball was lost on the penetration, but recovered with 10 on the shot clock. Three on the shot clock. And a travel. One of the things about playing on the road in, in a true road game, you tend to be about a half road game. You tend to be about a half step slower than the home team. They're going to be about a half step quicker. That's an adjustment early on that Arizona is going to have to make. That'll be some interesting matchup inside with Tarzuski and McGarry. And McGarry has the ability to put the ball on the floor. Here's Levert. Out to Walton. Levert, whose game has really improved since a year ago. Getting the minutes, putting up the production. Walton with three in the shot clock. And swept away by Nick Johnson. Feed the post. Tarzuski doubled up. Still gets the shot off. And McGarry pulls it away. Leads the transition. Pass up ahead. Just a little too steep for Robinson. Outlet pass. Picked off the floor by Gordon. In the lane. Tarzuski in contact. And it's a chop. And keep people in front of him. Really gifted young man. So McGarry able to get back in position to earn the draw charge. Here's Stauskas. Leading scorer with 19 a game. McGarry, fadeaway jumper, too strong. McConnell, baseline jumper, rattles in for Brandon Ashley. We, we talked at the top about Aaron Gordon. Brandon Ashley, very similar in terms of the skill set. Great versatility, long athletic, defensive oriented, but also with the ability to knock down open shots. Here's Stauskas, 19 a game. And Levert, two-point shot. And the defender, Gordon, got a hand on it. McConnell driving in. It was Levert who knocked it loose. And that's a third turnover on the Wildcats. To the corner, the three, yes, by Levert. What did we talk about the open? The triple in transition. That's where Michigan is at their best. And they get momentum when that three goes down. You're going to see the intensity picked up defensively. McConnell. And that's going to be a reach in here. Michigan does a great job of spacing for the three. Ashley takes the step, puts it up over Robinson. Too strong. Tapped around. Tarzuski tried to save it. He was on the line. Ball belongs to the Wolverines. Michigan has done a solid job on the defensive backboard. And Arizona struggling a little bit with the turnovers. They haven't been as sharp, which is to be expected. This is still a very young team. And that rebounding category something to watch. Arizona one of the best in the nation. Off the glass. What a move. Robinson scores. In the paint. And McGarry is going to be whistled for the foul. I felt coming into this game, Jim, that there's beautiful finish. John Horford comes in for McGarry. Get a little extra break for McGarry with the first time out on the way under 16. Plus he picked up the foul and nice first step to the basket. And that's what people talk about when they herald the great abilities of Aaron Gordon. It's 6-9 with a tremendously quick first step and a great feel. He's also a terrific passer in traffic. Keep an eye on that as the game progresses. Stauskas over Johnson short. And off Arizona. Last touch by...
credit Michigan. They've done the job early on with the defensive backboards, and they've also been able to force turnovers on Arizona. And Arizona has brought in Rondé Hollis Jefferson, number 23, his first action. Also brought in Gabe York, number one. Two subs during the break. You mentioned Arizona's true, second true road game. They played at San Diego State. As LeBert puts it off the glass, no. And Ashley with the rebound. Talking to Sean Miller before the game, says you have no idea. People nationally don't know how hostile an environment that is playing there at San Diego State. And here's York with the three, right off the bench. And he gives them that element, especially in transition with the ability to knock down perimeter shots. And Arizona, when they've been able to keep Michigan out of transition, they've been able to have an effect defensively. They alter shots, they contest shots, and they really move their feet well laterally. Horford, got Ashley behind him. And that's a traveling call. And that's an example there. Plays perfect defense, learning how to use his chest with the new rules. You can't put your hands on people, you have to use your body. And that's another takeaway as Robinson drives in, and that basket will count. The folk hero from the national championship game when he came in off the bench, 17 points in the first half against Louisville. That's Gordon. Ashley with the putback. This is where they're so dangerous. Second tap, no. And out to Stauskas. Albrecht feeds it inside. And Horford delivers it. What an assist to Horford. Knocks it down. Albrecht got him on the fly. And a whistle outside. And how about Rumble with defensive transition because they are so aggressive, aggressive to attack the offensive glass. After a foul on LeBert, inbounds, no, they had it, but Ashley unable to convert. Michigan able to come out of it. Stauskas to the corner. LeBert whips it out to the wing. And Albrecht. That's an excellent job by Arizona in transition. They're able to get back, protect the rim, and also close out on the three-point shooter. Stauskas, he'll drive, put it up. I think he thought he was going to get the foul call. Inside move, no, by Hollis Jefferson. And Arizona not cashing in on the inside as Michigan's on the break again. Karzewski clears. York. Back out to York. By Horford. Albrecht takes middle. Bounce pass Robinson. And he somehow is able to recover. What a finish. And I tell you what, the game's a little too fast for Arizona. The faster this game is played, the smaller Arizona becomes. It doesn't allow them to utilize their holiday. So Sean Miller takes the timeout to settle things down really good idea when the game is played slower it allows Arizona to kind of impose their will if it gets too fast that's to Michigan's advantage they average 89 points a game here at home Arizona's missed its last nine shots outside jumper and slides off the rim and that's last touch by McGarry who has re-entered the Michigan lineup We've seen Arizona very active on the offensive glass, but just not able to finish with the putbacks. They've got six offensive rebounds already. But the second chance points, to your point, haven't been there thus far. Three-minute stretch without a point for the Wildcats. Karzewski puts it on the floor. It's a big step to the hoop and hits the shot. That move by the big fella. The rotation got there, but Karzewski's had enough quickness and presence with the basketball to finish in traffic. 
ends the seven-point Wolverine run. I'm sure the big man could have made that move last year. He shed 25 pounds since last season. Here's Robinson, pull-up jumper. He's off to a big start. You know, and I've watched a lot of his games, and this season he seems to always have started with a three-point attempt, and if, if he didn't make it, his entire energy level dropped. Tonight he came out, or today I should say, with energy at attacking the rim, got that easy one early, playing with much more confidence. And again, Arizona with the turnover. It's fifth. Here's the three-point shot. Not that time. That was Zach Irvin outside. Albrecht feeds it to McGarry. Somehow threaded that one. A bounce pass to perfection. And it's 15-9 Michigan. Double up on Johnson. And a timeout call by Arizona. They're giving him a nice boost with some savvy guard play. Jordan Morgan in for Michigan, number 52. The senior. Here's Johnson hitting the three for Arizona. Nick Johnson, the junior. And his game has really changed since Sean Miller was able to take him off the point and put him in his natural position. The shooting guard really has been a big-time performer offensively for the Wildcats. Levert, back out to Albrick. He'll take a shot from three. <laughs> Saw a lot of that at the Georgia Dome. I think Spike enjoys having you call his yeah, game. That's what it is. <laughs> he has been playing at an incredible level. Persuski. This time it's going against Michigan. He'd already been called. Melissa McCarthy and Billy Gardell in a new episode of the hit comedy Mike and Molly. Monday on America's number one network. Levert looking for a little help. He gets it in to Albrecht. Michigan with two starters on the floor right now, Levert and McGarry. Along with Zach Irvin, Albrecht here, Jordan Morgan. Ball is stripped away from Albrecht this time. McConnell comes out with it. And that's a travel. And that was a tough one there because I thought they did a great job of screening. They have not screened well here early on as well, which has hurt there. This is the defense for one guy, Albrecht, to guard two. First five of Michigan back on the floor with Walton, Stauskas coming back out here, Robinson as well. Here's Walton. Floater. Too strong. McGarry. And has. It taken away by the Wildcats. Up ahead, Nick Johnson. From the free throw line, long rebound out to Robinson. Michigan always looking for that transition. It's Robinson. And it's off Michigan. Eric Walton is uh, taken out after just a couple of trips up the floor. Albrecht replacing him. And he's going to actually check Walton back in. He wanted to have a word with his freshman point guard. Down low, the blocks actually. Off the feed from Johnson. We saw it last possession. Even though Gordon had the turnover, they're starting to execute a little better in the half court. The screens are a little sharper. They're playing with a little more force than trying to gain back control of the tempo of this game. It's a hand check call. It's going to be on run. Unbelievable job. Got a terrific class of recruits coming in next season. Well, I say Arizona is going to be a player for a long time to come. Yeah, and back to the standards that were set by the father of Arizona basketball, Lute Olson, who still is around the program. They'll see him on all the games, shows up at practices, the great Hall of Famer, great man. We sent along our best to Coach Olson. Got to be proud to see Arizona basketball restored like this after what he did when he came into the desert years ago. Walton with five on the shot clock. He draws the foul. National Player of the Year. This young man right here takes over his position. That is a mighty big transition to make, and he's done, you know, at this point, growing pains. 
he's gonna he's gonna be just fine. He's gonna be a very good player, aggressive, athletic, quick. Yeah, nice finish there by speaking of aggressive and quick. Yeah, yeah. Brandon Ashley. You're starting to see though Arizona taking advantage of their interior presence. A little bit more poise offensively and discipline able to get it on the interior. Feed the corner and Robinson knocks down the three. And another hand check gonna be called on Walton. His now with the rhythm having gotten something early, but to your point again. You got to move your feet first and understand how to use your body defensively. Dipsy do move almost by Hollis Jefferson. Who gets it back underneath? And LeBert comes flying in and knocks it out. It's off Michigan. Help there, but they rule that out of bounds and back to Arizona. There's Gabe York handling the ball. Thomas Jefferson. And Ashley finds the long three over the back. Michigan for being able to rally defensively and contest in traffic. But they're going to have to really up the ante in terms of keeping Arizona off the glass as the game progresses. Stauskas gets the three. That's the one part that's been missing so far in this game. Stauskas getting going with that shot from the wing. His first points of the game. Michigan's hit four out of six from beyond the arc. Tapped around and outside to Albrecht. To the corner, Stauskas again. This place could have went crazy. Yeah, no, that one had a fallen. Here's Ashley. Big step to the hole. And contact on the way up with Horford. Good injury. Did not make a shot from the floor in that game against Duke. Won by the Blue Devils by 10. Duke the common opponent. The only common opponent for each team. Arizona beat them in New York in that NIT final by 6. And that is going to be a fall here against McConnell. His first. You know, we talked so much about Spike Albrecht's ability to make shots after that terrific first half in the final. More general in this first half has really been the difference. He's been able to create opportunities for his, his team and also to keep them settled against this Arizona defense. LeVert gives it up last moment and Horford misses the short shot and fights for the rebound. All that, another three from downtown. Michigan has its largest lead at eight. McConnell drives in and scores. TJ McConnell, that's what he's done all season. He's made big shots for Arizona. Been able to stem the tide when the momentum's been going against him. Albrecht lost it on the dribble. Three on two, Arizona. Far side, York with a three. That was an opportunity for a little momentum shift. And this is one of those possessions where you gather your legs, and that's what Michigan's doing. They're having to exert so much energy to compete physically in their ill-advised pass by LeVert. Picked off by Aaron Gordon. Gordon fakes the shot, drives, puts it up over Albrecht. Tough shot. Aaron Gordon. 
Now with four. Stauskas open, all drag for the third time, no. Dish, Tarsuski. How about the versatility by Aaron Gordon? He knocks down the mid-range. Runners up. And has started every game of his Michigan career, all 49 of them. So, as you said, going the break, six unanswered here by Arizona. Cut it to two. And Levert on the drive. Spins it off the glass. Beautiful finish there and a great job of sealing by McGarry. Didn't allow Tarzuski to come over and try to alter that shot. Feed the post. Tarzuski right over McGarry. About that post entry by Nick Johnson. Terrific seal by the big fella. Gary trying to help out on the screen. Gary with two points so far in this game. Here's Levert with the three and bouncing outside to McGarry. And, and McGarry's impact, Jim's not going to just be his ability to score because he's going to have to control that defensive backboard. And he's also a terrific screener, which puts pressure on Anathar. Inside Robinson again, Anathar. You're, you're now playing from different spots at times. It, it's an adjustment period for both of those young men. Remember, this team, they didn't just lose all the talent when you talk about Hardaway Jr. and Trey Burke. It's the leadership and the style with which he allowed them to play. With a minute to go in the half. Arizona trying to chip into that four-point deficit. Johnson with the three. And Stauskas had the box out. And that's going to be a second this summer with John Anderson, who is their strength and conditioning coach. They call the Camp Sanderson. They both put on a lot of muscle. You can see it. And, and I tell you what, they also gained a lot of confidence. Anytime you can see that type of growth and maturity physically, it's going to also help you mentally as a basketball player. Nick Johnson, blocked by Horford. Second chance, no, by Gordon. He's going to Michigan. Really solid minutes. He's like, I'd call him a, a middle reliever in, in baseball. He eats up minutes as opposed to innings for Michigan. Been very, very critical here early on. Four blocks by Horford off the bench. Stauskas for seven. Robinson. Now with four. Puts up the three. Yeah. <laughs> Land Robinson the third. And we've reached halftime as Gordon State. And that Iowa State's a good team. Charlotte down in the final of the Puerto Rico tournament. And then a loss at Duke by 10. Six and three, 25th in the country. Right now leading number one. Gary taking it to the hole and dunks it down. He got past Karzuski. And it's a double-digit lead for the first time. To Gordon. Up and over. Bouskis tipped up. Yes, Gordon got it on the second attempt. And, you know, if you look at Arizona, they're the number one team in the country, and deservedly so. But, you know, they don't really feature a dynamic score. You know, they, they don't have a guy that can, they can rely on to consistently lead them in scoring. They got to do it the way we saw in that last possession. Another turnover. That last basket that tapped in by Gordon ended a 9 nothing run going back to the... 
Final minute of the first half. Michigan closing strong. Here's Ashley. Two more. And what did we see? Both possessions. You know what the conversation was yes. from Sean Miller. We have got to punish them on the interior. Great execution offensively there. And a nice finish by Ashley. Levert hits the jump shot. Harris Levert, sophomore from Pickerington, Ohio. Get the ball down low again for the third straight chip trip. Seven on the shot clock. Johnson needs help with three. Down low, Tosuski. And a shot clock by Arizona. Their offensive execution is what allows them to score. And it's been a bit of a struggle for them for stretches of this game. Walton driving on McConnell. And McConnell wants the three and knocks it down. T.J. McConnell, the Duquesne transfer. And we talked about it. He's going to have to have more of an impact on this game. He and Nick Johnson for Arizona. Here's Robinson to McGarry. Quick double on him. Back outside. Robinson is fouled by Gordon. Arizona to set their defense. And stolen on the inbounds. Defended the pass beautifully. It was Ashley. And Tarsuski off the pass from Johnson. And Arizona with a little flurry here. A 9-2 stretch. Yeah, that is a poor decision by Glenn Robinson the third, and great decision by Nick Johnson on the penetration to set up Tarsuski. Here's Robinson. And he lost it on the baseline. Arizona. Gordon cut off to Ashley. And the Wildcats are with it, too. And, and where has everything been? Jim? In the paint. Yep. They have done a great job of imposing their will on Michigan here to start this second half. Everything but that McConnell three. They got it down low. 11-2 run. They've done it with their execution offensively and then some penetration in transition. Albrecht is in for Walton, who has struggled here today. Albrecht giving them some valuable minutes in that first half. As did Horford, who also is on the floor. First action of the second half. Stauskas, top of the key three, down and out. McConnell clears it for the Wildcats. Who were down 11 just a short while ago in this half. Cats have hit their last five shots. Four of them coming from the paint. Five to shoot. Brzezuski got it off in time, and Horford able to pull it away for Michigan. Good decision there with the reset. Defense is starting to pick it up on both ends here in the second half. Five to shoot. And LeBert hits the three. Harris LeBert. 
ends the seven-point Arizona run. Johnson, jumper, yes. And that's the guy, the leading scorer. They need him. He's the one guy that has shown a consistency to create offense this season. He's going to have to do some of that in the second half. There's Levert, fresh off a of three. Now drive in. We'll have a chance to. That's up from about three points a game last year. And really one of the luxuries that John Beeline has, he has terrific versatility on the perimeter. He's got three guys that can make triples and also beat you off the dribble as well as find people in traffic. What a luxury to have. And unable to handle it. The Levert back to Robinson. He has not put up a shot in his half after 7 for 7 in the first half. And Levert dribbling through traffic and guarding pick and rolls. On the baseline, Robinson. His first miss, it was a tough shot. Thomas Jefferson on the floor for the Wildcats. Remember, he has three fouls. Here's McConnell on the drive. And the give up. Persinski knocks it down. And that's what we didn't see from McConnell in that first half. He's one of the starting to see a little bit more of it here for Arizona in the second. He averages seven assists a game, does McConnell. And it was his second dish here of this game. Levert. Feeds the corner. Stauskas loves this shot. Rattles out. The pass just wasn't on target there. Kind of pulled Stauskas out of his rhythm on that triple. That pass is on the mark. The shot is to Nick Johnson. And, and for all, and it's deserved that the recognition that this great front line of Arizona gets, it's really going to come down to Johnson McConnell. And, and McConnell in terms of how they play, how they control tempo, and how they execute in the half court. And McConnell gets an assist for the second straight trip. There's Levert driving in on Tarzuski, and somehow gets it to go. A, Up and over the seven-footer. That's what we call a next-level play there, folks. That was terrific body control by Levert. And 15 points, 10 coming in this half. Tarzuski backing in, backing in, and this is the short shot. And he's in pain. He fell awkwardly on his right leg. Tarzuski is still down at the other end. Robinson converts on the alley -oop. That would have been a smart time for Arizona to maybe take a foul. Because you don't want to give up momentum plays, particularly on the road. Alley-oops and three-pointers, those are things that Michigan thrives off of. Thomas Jefferson takes his position on the floor, obviously not the same size. This is an Arizona team that has five on the floor, very familiar with one another. And Gordon lost the handle, Robinson fouled on the shot. He wisely this time went ahead and saw the whistle was on the way. TBS. And two for two for Robinson. And the last six points now to Michigan. And let's see what can win out. Is it going to be the perimeter versatility of Michigan or the interior presence of Arizona? In the paint, Gordon. Over McGarry and rattles in. Tarzuski, by the way, went to the locker room for just a brief moment. He's already back on the uh, Arizona bench. And that's a good sign for the young man, and Arizona will need him. They're really starting when they've taken care of the basketball to have a lot more success in the half court. There's Levert. Now McGarry. Albrecht having to go the majority of the way at the point in this game. 
Levert open on the wing, and it's long. Tapped around, and... Well, teaching moment here for Coach Beeline, who will sit in the Gary down. And Horford now in the post on Tarzuski. We move inside with 10 minutes to go. Here's Gordon, doubled up in a hurry. Tarzuski... Again, as he once sometimes you see that the taller players they tend to like to you know sneak out on the perimeter. Not the case with him, and really good execution here as the game is starting to slow down. Arizona is starting to get a much better rhythm in the half court and playing to their strengths, making sure that that basketball touches the paint. Zuzuski trims the deficit to three. Levert. Challenging inside, tapped around and into the hands of Nick Johnson. Arizona shooting 75% from the floor of this half and a hold call against Michigan. Albrecht's first foul. Johnson gets up the shot that would have tied it. Off the floor, Stauskas to Walton. And Gary was working hard, had post position, they went away from it. Outside, and that's on target to dribble with that great first step. And they have not really tried to establish McGarry on the post, maybe paying too much respect to the shot blocking ability of Arizona. Walton fighting off the screen and push off call against York. Sixth team foul on Arizona. Three this half against Michigan. But that could factor in here late in this game. Michigan will be shooting three throws on the next one. And in fact it'll be a three-point three throw attempt coming here for the three-point play. Fourth foul on Hollis Jefferson, so he's out. And, and even though Michigan has good numbers in terms of field goal percentage, Arizona has controlled tempo, which is why they're still in this game. Ashley fires up his own miss. Gordon tries to keep it alive. Quick hands by Nick Johnson. Floating shot. Too strong. And again, another offensive rebound. They have just owned the pain. Favorite events to be a part of. That's Those broadcasts, I'll never forget them. As a kid growing up, that was nice to see television in there. Nice block. And you know, that's in the paint that they just have not been able to convert in this game. About this possession alone, how many attempts they've had. They missed their last five from the floor. Find the open man, it's York. And that's going to be a push. Sanderson with the strength and conditioning coach. He and Karis Levert. Boy, did they both step up too. And they've been huge today. And You know, yes, Arizona played Duke earlier. And Duke has a lot of skill, but that was a neutral site. It's a different dynamic when you have to go on the road in a hostile environment and to be able to play with the same level of confidence Arizona got within one at 47-46. Michigan responding with an 11-4 stretch. A double up on McConnell. Here's Gordon, has to beat the shot clock. And a rebound outside to Robinson. Yeah, not a good possession. Horrible spacing for Arizona on that. T.J. McConnell has got to do a better job of reading penetration by his teammates and creating angles where they can find him. LeBert with a three. He thought he had it. Wildcats at this end have missed their last seven from the floor. Johnson doubled up, tough shot. Underneath Tarzuski, he got pinned under the cylinder, and it stays with for the finish. Horford in for McGarry. 
Tarzuski sits. Thomas Jefferson with four fouls in for him. Will inbound it. He's gone four minutes without a basket. And they've had some very good looks. Ashley down low to Gordon. That was just about to say this. Down low to Gordon. That was just about to say this is really where you start. You have to be able to trust your identity as a basketball team, and you got to believe in what you do. That's why you're number one. Don't go away from that strength, which is to continue to pound the paint and assume that those shots will start to fall. First field goal in four minutes and 15 seconds. Ten on the shot clock, Walton. To the corner to Levert. And Arizona comes out with it. Alice Jefferson, last pass to Gordon. What a catch. You're right about that. Good decision by McCown. Let's reset. Let's get the shot we want on this possession. It's Ashley, open jumper, yes. And it's down to four. And, and even that possession, that's a paint touch. The ball has to touch the paint. You do it either through posting, penetration, or pass. That time they got it with the penetration led to that rhythm jump shot for Ashley. Now with five minutes to go. Stauskas driving in. Tried to split the defenders. Took off. That's why the charge was made. The Michigan, ball was made. Michigan brings Albrick back onto the floor for Walton. And that's... They haven't gotten away from their identity. They've been rattled at times. But, you know, that's what to expect when you go on the road. It's going to be about how you handle the adversity. And they are putting themselves in a position to get the win. Been down by as many as 11. Trying to trim down the fourth. Got the Simmons down to two. Off of that feed, Gordon to Ashley. The Bay Area kids combining a couple of times here. Quite efficiently at the other end. Yeah, we talked about it coming down the stretch. It was going to be about Michigan's versatility on the perimeter. Could they create opportunities because transition isn't going to be there for the most part. Stauskas on the baseline, a hard-earned basket. And there's an example right there. That's what's going to have to happen for Michigan. They have three guys in Stauskas, LeVert, and Robinson who are really good at from beyond the arc, off of the bounce, and with their vision. Stauskas stepping up here in the late going, seven in the second half. That's Gordon with a quick answer. Beautiful find by McConnell as well. Really impressed with how both these teams are battling here down the stretch. This game is really important for both. Stauskas feeds it to McGarry, and it's going to be one of the Wolverines. And he got them both. McConnell. Whistle first outside. Just, just rode him a little bit with that right hip. And again, I, McConnell has been really solid in this second half. Just done a really good job of allowing. Arizona to get into a good flow offensively. Here he is with Robinson on him. Stutter step move and a dish. Outside to Gordon who drives in and lays it in. And that's one of those what we call a hockey assist because the penetration puts Michigan in rotation which creates that opportunity for the attack from the free throw line. Aaron Gordon has 14 for the game. Stauskas off the rim and rebounded by Nick Johnson. Arizona trying to make it all the way back. And Alice Jefferson ties it.
terrific season. Not the impact today because of foul trouble, but he comes up big. And Sam Arizona Trump. has its first lead since 7-5 to five in this game. Yeah, he averages about nine a game. He's been in foul trouble throughout, but his first points add up now to an Arizona one-point lead. Zagari. Ooh, that I that, saw the same thing you did. Yeah, they'll get a reset here, 19 on the clock. And you can see the intensity defensively picking up for Arizona. LeBert, he's driving in. He's blocked by Ashley. McGarry with the putback, and he'll go to the line. Now to give Michigan the lead back. Wolverines 13 out of 15 from the line. 64-63, Michigan. And a timeout vital to the success of a young team on the road. And really been impressed with what he's done here down the stretch. What a heck of a game. And what a scene. 15 on the shot clock. Ashley. Off the glass and he got it to go. Top shot. How about the footwork? Beautiful. Brandon Ashley there, staying under control. Terrific finish. That's a sophomore. The other end, driving in is Stauskas. And just what we talked about, the perimeter versatility, the triple threat trio that Michigan has going against the anchors on the interior for Arizona. Under a minute to go. In Ann Arbor, number one is down one. McConnell thought about it. Two-point shot, front of the rim. Follows it up with his own rebound. And a new 35. Big time. Hits a rebound by T.J. McConnell. Fresh clock here. Doesn't look like Sean Miller's going to call timeout. Nick Johnson driving, and the whistle. Now for the lead. We've had five lead changes in the last two minutes. Will there be one more at the end? Michigan, not going to take a timeout here. Stauskas puts up the shot. Rebound, tap twice, and into the arms of Aaron Gordon. Johnson. McConnell or York on the free throw line. Inbounds to Nick Johnson and the quick foul. He's been really good in the second half. He and McConnell. Arizona, what great poise here down the stretch. And he got them both. And a timeout called by Arizona. Get across half four, but uh, let's see how this plays out. They do not defend the inbounds throw, which comes to Albrecht. Into the front court and a reach in on McConnell. Well, they try to get a time. So Albrecht. Not able to hit the first. Now Horford in for McGarry. 6.7 seconds. Ashley and Gordon on the blocks for Arizona. Albrecht. Wow. Makes the second one foul. And remember, Michigan still has a timeout. York to inbound. And again, who ends up with the ball but Nick Johnson. Gordon in for York. And McGarry for Horford. Arizona has not missed at the line. 12 out of 12. And this would be huge. For a two-possession lead. Albrecht. Quick three. Got it. Timeout. 
with two seconds. <laughs> to put themselves in this position. Hollis Jefferson, a freshman, will inbound it with McGarry defending. Went in the baseline, inbounds to York, and Stauskas is on him at one point. You, you think about it, missing this purposely because then it doesn't give you an opportunity to run a set play. Misses the second. Stauskas from three-quarter court puts it up. And it's wide.